in our, well, of course he did department. The racist pile of trash we call a president said racist crap in a room full of people. This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, the world reacted yesterday when it was reported that our racist in chief, Donald Trump, in a bipartisan meeting while discussing our immigration policy, became angry at the prospect that America would offer some protections for people from certain African nations in Haiti. He lashed out at the proposal, demanding answers about why America is accepting immigrants from shithole countries filled with people of color, rather than from wondrous places like Norway, which is overwhelmingly white. Well, the Republican internet lit up and shifted into let's make excuses for our white supremacist leader mode. And the talking sock puppet, Jesse Waters, said this on, of course, Fox News. I think it's either fake news or if it's true, this is how the forgotten men and women in America talk at the bar. This is how Trump relates to people. If you're at a bar and you're in Wisconsin and you're thinking they're bringing in a bunch of Haiti people or El Salvadorians or people from Niger, this is how some people talk. Is it graceful? No. Is it polite or delicate? Absolutely not. Is it a little offensive? Of course it is. But you know what? This doesn't move the needle at all. This is who Trump is. He doesn't care. He shoots from the hip. And if he offends some people, fine. First of all, come on. The phrase forgotten men and women of America is weak and tired. How can you possibly still call them forgotten when you won't quit flapping your gums about them? This imaginary group seems pretty damn not forgotten. Secondly, even if what you say is true, it's not, but even if you, it is, just because racists say and believe racist things doesn't mean the president of the United States should too. Even if it is in this imaginary bar of yours filled with imaginary racists. And of course, the white supremacist internet wouldn't be complete without Tuba Loopy Doop, who tweeted, quote, if they aren't shithole countries, why don't their citizens stay there? Let's be honest, call it like it is, unquote. I mean, how could anybody possibly penetrate this force field like ironclad logic? <laughs> eh. Except for the fact that it leads me to the question of why terrible Tommy left her home of South Dakota for liberal filled Los Angeles. Using Laren logic, one must conclude that South Dakota is a dirty shithole. P.S. It's not. So look, this is shaken out into three camps of people. The first is made up of people like Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, who don't condemn racist Trump or his racist remarks. And this is racism, folks, not a difference of budgets or other policy measures. By not drawing a hard line in the sand, they're announcing that overt racism isn't a deal breaker for them. And if they don't condemn it, they condone it. The second group is filled with people like Jesse Waters and the alt-right princess, Tarmac Lunchbox, by leaning in and doubling down and defending racist Trump and his racist words, they explicitly advertise their own pernicious racism. And then the third camp is filled with the rest of us, the civilized population of compassionate and empathetic lovers of humanity. Those of us who will not stand by and remain silent in the face of injustice or idle in the presence of vile racism. Our group knows that the only real shithole in this situation is Donald Trump himself. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you like what I do here and you appreciate it, go ahead and uh, click subscribe. And if you really like it and appreciate what I do and you'd like to, to join my Patreon family, there's another link there for that. It's not just for the podcast, <laughs> it's also for YouTube. Thanks a lot.